Hello Scorpio, let's do your weekly. So I keep getting emails from different signs to continue weekly. So I'm going to do that the best that I can. So let's do this. We want to know what's coming towards you Scorpio that you should be aware of for your highest good. Uh, also we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of while watching this video, whether you're in contact with them or not, what's going on with them? And how are they relating to you at this time? Universe, please step in. Show very clear, important messages for the sign of Scorpio, please. For Scorpio's highest good. What is coming towards Scorpio? And how to best handle it? What's coming towards Scorpio? So you've been waiting on important messages. Wow, about somebody that you see as lifetime commitment that you would like to commit to. Um, there is silent treatment currently. So this person is showing up as the king of pentacles. Uh, for most of you, you're dealing with a man. This is a very masculine energy. King is very uh, much a solid masculine energy. For some of you, it could be a woman, but this is a masculine energy king. Somebody who is good with business, good with money, a great provider. So this person has solid intentions towards you. But it shows here, uh, currently, there's no clear communication. For some of you, it's very minimal communication. Uh, you waiting on this solid offer from this individual. Let's see. Universe, please show clarification. More detail. What is coming towards Scorpio? For some of you, you're dealing with an earth sign. Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. Cancerian. So this person is at a distance from you. they either at a distance from you or they're traveling a lot. And you want to see them face to face. Yeah. So you know what you want, Scorpio. You know what you want. You are confused about the uh, no communication. Some of you are dealing with Pisces, also Cancerian energy. Yeah. So the problems that you have with this person that go back in time is not communicating effectively. They are not good in communication. Uh, maybe they're changing for the better, but uh, this, you know, you know how they are with communication. The, their communication was not consistent. There were problems in communication between the two of you. And it looks like for a lot of you, it's still uh, no communication. They see you as very direct. Yeah independent, uh, attractive, powerful, good with uh, business. So you want this. This person makes you very happy. Look at this. Ten of Cups with Ten of Pentacles. You want this lifetime commitment with this individual. And it looks like they want the same, but they're scared of making the same mistakes. They're scared. They don't want to disappoint you again. Justice. Some of you are dealing with a very strong Libra energy. So this person is heavily on your mind. So you have been disappointed in the past by this person. You have a lot of regrets the way things happened. Um, but you see, you want to be successful in this relationship. So you you are absolutely certain you want this individual in your life. Yeah, you're very guarded. So you cut this person out in the past. You just had enough of the BS. You cut them out. You did. And you were very blunt with them. Uh, because they hurt you. Yeah. You are scared of trusting them again. So that is your concern. All these swords, 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 swords shows that you guys have history of uh, communication problems. So it looks like you've been communicating and they haven't been communicating. 
was very unbalanced and you finally got fed up with the BS and you cut them out. You want a fresh new start with this person. Yeah, but you want to communicate. You want to, and that's absolutely correct. In order for any kind of relationship to be healthy, there has to be communication. Otherwise, there's no point. So they are going within. They're going through major transformation. Major transformation. Uh, some of them are Pisces, Cancerian, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus. All the signs showing up here. Very strongly Libra energy. Uh, this person is going through a lot of internal work. They're doing a lot of spiritual work on themselves. They want to make sure that they are ready to offer you what you deserve, what you want. They want to make sure they are absolutely ready. They don't want to mess up. They don't want to disappoint you. They, this shows here they're scared of your judgment. Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, Ace of Swords. This also shows that uh, you see right through their games, right through their BS. You see right through people. You are a very good judge of people's character. So they know that they can't sugarcoat anything. They can't play any mind games because you're going to put them right in their place as you should. Yeah, don't put up with any BS from anybody. So I commend you for that. So they very strongly showed up in your energy. Now we want to see what's going on with them that you should know for your highest good and how they are relating at this time to you. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Scorpio. For Scorpio's highest good, please. How is the soulmate of Scorpio? Uh, doing what's happening in their life and how is the soulmate of Scorpio currently relating to Scorpio at this time they very strong some of them may be a Leo strength card three of cups that's very good nine of wands they want to yeah they have a lot of respect for you a lot they see you as an empress, so they know you are worthy. Uh, they see you as a person with integrity, self-respect. Somebody who's not going to put up with any BS, any mind games. They have a lot of respect for you. They also recognize that they put you through a lot in the past. They did. They put you through a lot. Let me see. Universe, please show more detail. What's going on with Scorpio soulmate? And how is the soulmate currently relating to Scorpio? You see, they know they owe you apologies. Also, this shows they want to give you a gift. So, yeah. Again, the hangman. So, they are going through a lot of inner work. they doing some deep soul searching trying to reinvent themselves, trying to put themselves in your shoes. They don't want to repeat the same mistakes. Again, Empress. So this person has a lot of respect for you. Yes, so they see that you are marriage material. You, you are somebody they would want to spend their life with in a serious relationship. Yeah. This person has a lot of respect for you. So they feel beat up too by life, by circumstances, by the past. They, they see you as very harsh with your judgment towards them. They, they respect you though because they know that whatever words come out of your, out of your mouth that you're going to be very honest. You're not going to sugarcoat anything. You're not playing any mind games. You're being very honest, direct objective, discerning, and blunt. They're scared of the bluntness. Yeah, you see? <laughs> Knight of Swords. So you've been blunt with them before, but that was necessary because they didn't understand any other way. You got tired of babysitting. 
Yeah, they put you through a lot emotionally and they acknowledge that. For Six of Swords to show up in a love reading means they admit to themselves of their mistakes, the drama they created between the two of you. And they they know they put you through a lot of emotional roller coasters, heartache, heartbreak. They've, you've been through a lot. That's why you're so guarded emotionally. You love this person, but you guard it just in case. They put you through a lot. Disappointed you greatly. Very strong Leo and um, Taurus energy. So they have in the past tried to release you from the heart, let you go, release you for good, but it didn't work. Uh, spycraft card. So this person is and has been spying on you, keeping tabs on you. Lovers. So you guys are soulmates from other lifetimes. That's for sure. You are soulmates. That's why this connection is so intense, so deep. Yeah. So they recognize that they need to work on their communication with you. There was a lot of serious fights between the two of you in the past. They don't want to repeat that same thing uh, they see you as successful beautiful attractive independent they know you don't need them but you want them yeah so they want proper reconciliation with you they want this they want this to work out this also shows this person has a lot of passion for you love and passion but they know they need to do a lot of inner work before they can uh, show you solid offer where they're not going to fail. They're not trusting themselves at this time. They're not. Uh, yeah, because they know that if they fail, you're going to jack them up and they're going to deserve it. So we're going to go into the extended read. We're going to ask at this time their true plans and intentions for you. Anything they have up their sleeve, anything they may be hiding with their on purpose or they don't think you would care to know, but the universe feels you need to be aware of at this time for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you from universe, from spirit on how to best handle this situation at this time and anything else the universe needs you to know about your life. So click on the extended link below this video in the description box below and I'll see you there. Thank you so much, Scorpio.